Uh, we've made an enormous amount of progress this past year. Uh, so basically, our concept is an integral reactor. Uh, it, has a, it houses the um, core, the pressurizer, the helical coil steam generator, and that reactor vessel, in turn, is housed inside of a, a high-pressure containment. The entire module, uh, the new scale power module, is factory built. Uh, then we can ship it to a site where it's coupled to a skid-mounted turbine generator set. You can have multiple modules at a site. Uh, each uh, new scale power module is immersed in water, uh, so it's underwater, uh, the entire containment, uh, in a stainless steel lined concrete pool. So all the water that you need for safety is already in that pool. So now many, of, I'm sure all of us are aware of the events at Fukushima and when they occurred. And I, I think it really highlighted the problem of not having power uh, to provide a reliable means of removing decay heat under station blackout conditions. And we think we've solved that problem. And we're calling it the triple crown of nuclear safety. So what do I mean by that? A new scale power module can safely shut down, self-cool for an indefinite period of time with no operator action, no AC or DC power, and no additional water. So let me let that sink in for a moment. No operator action, no AC or DC batteries, and no additional water. Uh, we believe this is a major breakthrough for nuclear power. Uh, in the event of a complete station blackout, where you lose everything, AC and DC power, this plant will self-configure, all the safety valves will align, uh, to provide the safest configuration for long-term cooling. So once you're in this configuration, the plant will cool itself down for an indefinite period of time. And if you were unable to add water to the pool or provide cooling to the pool, uh, eventually you would say this would boil off. And what that allows us to do is to go into air cooling. So this can be a natural convection air-cooled system uh, after a period of time. Uh, we wanted the world to start getting familiar with our design. So we've provided them with data uh, to learn how these coupled containment, uh, tightly coupled reactor vessel containment systems work in terms of passive systems. Uh, this has been very valuable. I think seven countries participated in that, including the NRC. So the idea is that by the time we submit our uh, design certification application, the NRC will be completely familiar with our design and they'll know how to evaluate uh, our application. Thank you so much. Thank you.